I'm focused on making touching a positive social value in our culture. My name is David Palmer and I uh, developed the first professional massage chair for uh, performing seated massage in uh, the world. When we first began doing chair massage, we used stools. We'd literally have to hold up our customers as we we're working on them because as of course as you get a massage you tend to relax and you tend to list to one side or the other and people would almost fall over. The idea of a specialized chair came into, uh, into my head and in 1984 I began working with a French cabinet maker by the name of Serge Brousseau and we began uh, developing a chair in a box and uh, when it was assembled it uh, looked like very much like the uh, contemporary chairs that we're using today. That was a patented uh, product and uh, lasted for uh, uh, about 10 years. It became a bit of a dinosaur because of its weight. Um, it weighed 26 pounds. Uh, the iterations of uh, technology have, uh, were pretty rapid in the first uh, 15 years and now we're just continuing to fine tune it to uh, develop the, the perfect massage chair. got five primary senses and of them uh, the one that's been ignored most by society in general is definitely touch. Uh, touch has the uh, most negative association attached to it so I'm out to make touch something that is uh, much more comfortable uh, for people at large and also uh, something that they can utilize in their daily lives for their health and well-being. I think that massage is something that should be in every home. You know, it's something that uh, sh should be taught in every grade school, as far as I'm concerned, and that uh, basic life skill that people should have. Uh, when I see massage integrated into the grammar school curriculum, uh, then I'll know my work is done.